Where do we begin? What on earth have Garner been inhaling in those balloons that he's been sniffing? I... He literally had a chance to win the game and take second place. Oh my word, Chris Hilton, what on earth are you doing? You couldn't even get a job at Sutton United at this point. Playing the IU brothers even though they're like, what, nearly the same age as you? I mean, Anaki Williams playing as a winger. Semenyo playing up front as a striker. Oh my word, what a mess. 2-2 two, two it ended between Cape Verde and Egypt. Cape Verde had nothing to play for, but Cape Verde kept pressing on anyway because it was just a bit of fun for them to last night. And then, of course, the other game, 2-2 two, two between... Oh no, sorry, it was Mozambique that God would play. I beg your pardon, Mozambique are out, but they have been a sensation. My goodness me. But as for Cape Verde, of course, they also got 2-2 two, two draw against Egypt. Egypt go through in second place, but they will they finish the group of three points. But they actually, because they drew all three games, they end up with a goal difference of zero. But I've got to say, I mean, Egypt have been absolutely dreadful. But because of the absolute terribleness of this group, they still go through. I mean, you've got to laugh because it's absolutely hilarious, to be honest. They had no Mo Salah, obviously. They had a um, Trezeguet equalised for Egypt. Yes, they actually have a player called Trezeguet. And, of course, they had two players called Adam Dollar. One of them scored um, late on for Egypt, making it look like they were going to win the game. Only, of course, Cape Verde did equalise, just like Mozambique made it 2-2 against Ghana. I mean... Got to take my hat off to Cape Verde, Equatorial Guinea, Mali and Namibia for being absolutely fantastic. No one expected them to do this well and they've broken all expectations. Yes, Mozambique, as like I said, will be going home. But to get two draws against two former champions and two teams that have been have qualified for a World Cup, magnificent. And considering most of their players are domestic-based players and the fact that, well, frankly, I think Mozambique, I don't think I've even ever drawn a game at this tournament. Incredible. Just amazing. There is nothing else. There are no superbities that can explain how good Mozambique have been. I mean, as for Ivory Coast, I wonder how many balloons they've popped since that 2-0 um, win against Guinea-Bissau because it does seem to be like they've been potting a bit too much. But thanks to, of course, Ghana ending their group with just two points. I mean, Ivory Coast have been given a lifeline and potentially could reach the last 16 as long as, of course, um, one of them, um, of course, in Ghana's case, they literally need um, Algeria to lose, Zambia to lose, and hope Cameroon do not win. My God, God are almost certainly going home, to be honest. Just pathetic. They really are the top of, of African football. That's all I can say. And as for um, Egypt, yeah, looks like they've broken too many rubber bands. I mean, Mohamed Salah is seriously overplayed. He is absolutely drained of energy. It is ligaments. The ligaments are surely rubbing together. I've got to say, and of course, Equatorial Guinea, who did win their group, just like Cape Verde. I mean, Equatorial Guinea have the top, the tournament's top scorer, Emiliaro Ensue, who, of course, plays as a right back for Intercity in the Spanish third division. And he used to play the championship for Middlesbrough and Birmingham City. I don't think that guy has ever played a single, has ever played a single minute in the Premier League. I mean, yes, back in the day, he was actually a pretty decent um, La Liga right back for Mallorca, and he did get called up to the Spanish Olympic team because he actually went through all their Spanish youth teams. But eventually, of course, he was forced to admit defeat and choose Equatorial Guinea, where 
frankly, in, now at the age of 35, he is lighting up the stage. And I've got to say, I'm absolutely delighted for him. Um, of course, Nigeria beat Guinea Bissau 1 0. Nigeria actually looking solid. It has been a bonkers AFCON. There really are just so many headlines. I, I don't think I could go through them all, to be honest. 